Hi there guys, so now that I've received my onboarding emails and they're all done, uh, what I've got to do is I've got to do some um, pre-course content. So this is to get my understandings of how to use either Sketch, Photoshop or Illustrator. So you, you can choose whichever one you want to do. So they've got this course set up um, here that um, you go through this pre-content um, and you go through all of these. It'll take just about, th about three hours. Um, if you don't know how to use uh, either of those three tools and you're going to be building this screenshot here So you go through all those tutorials and it'll tell you if you need to get any either Photoshop sketch or illustrator You only have to use one of them. You can um, d either download the free trial to get um, Sketch obviously sketch only works on Mac unfortunately but also one really good thing that Design Lab does have is they have a deal, as you can see here, with Sketch. So you can get it for 50% off, which is a great thing if you want to actually purchase it and the trial ends. I'm actually going to be uh, doing these tutorials in Sketch because that's what I want to get more familiar with. So I've gone ahead and done all those uh, tutorials for the pre-course work. So I've built this screenshot. Um, I've also the 4th of February passes now the 6th of February and I've been sent um, several emails um, and it's basically telling me to go into the course content and also to book a one-to-one -one with my mentor so I've been assigned a mentor um, closer to my sort of time zone so this person actually works at the BBC and he's a designer there so he's going to be working, I can ask him questions, and he's the person that's going to be reviewing my work and also having my Skype calls with. So I need to organise those sessions. Um, the next thing I need to do is we're going to go through this um, onboarding process, the sort of the welcome um, thing. I've not actually gone through this yet, so I'm going to be doing this in real time with you guys to actually see. So this is just an overview of the programme. So here we go, it says, welcome to Design 101. This is a guide that will walk you through the courseworks. Uh, we'll help you learn the structure, your time and effort to get the most out of this over the next uh, few weeks on Design Lab. Feel free to refer to this guide as the course goes on. If you have any questions about this course, feel free, uh, or course format or approach next. So we'll just have a look at this program overview. Over the next four weeks, you'll embark on a journey to hone your design skills. You'll look at a lot of design, good and bad, read about design theory, learn concepts, and most importantly, work on a series of projects to sharpen your intuition and abil technical ability. Along the way, you'll have an expert mentor that will serve as your guide into design world. This course will begin a short skills assessment that will help you give you and your mentor a starting point to work through uh, uh, the rest of the course. This course consists of six units that will cover the following topics. Getting to know design, visual hierarchy, layout, typography, colour, colour theory, the process. Okay. Online coursework. Each unit on Design Lab contains a series of lectures, articles and videos that are written and curated from around the web. Take your time to read through these lectures and watch the videos and make sure to take notes along the way to identify questions that you might have about certain topics. This theory will help form the foundations of your design knowledge. Okay. Project work and feedback. Project work is the heart Project work is the heart of Design Lab experience. To improve your skills as a designer, the single most important thing you can do is practice repeatedly. In addition to the lessons, uh, lesson content, each unit contains projects you, for you to complete. These projects and exercises will help push your understanding of the material, demonstrate your ability, and give your mentors a chance to identify where you can improve. Projects are where you can truly grow as a designer by creating a body of work. Make sure to get feedback from your mentor and iterate on your work throughout the course. Also feel free to share your personal goals with your mentor coming into the course. For example, if you'd like to get two solid portfolio pieces by the end of the next few weeks, make sure to mention that. You can adapt the projects as much as you'd like to fit your particular needs. 
sessions. Your, your mentor Skype sessions are a great opportunity to learn one-on-one -on -one from some of the best designers in the world. Each session lasts 30 to 60 minutes and largely student driven. We encourage you to bring an agenda and questions and topics you'd like to discuss during each session. More on that later. We'll explain more about how session scheduling works next. Scheduling. We recommend guidelines on the online work for you, how long you should spend on each item regarding the project work. We've broken the content down week by week and can keep pace with the material if you spend roughly six to 10 hours a week. You, uh, the only scheduled content of the course are the mentor sessions, which you'll arrange with your mentor at the end of this guide. You can look at your mentor's availability and coordinate time to meet with them weekly. Once your sessions are booked, you'll send you will send you an email with reminders to keep you on track. If you know you can't make your session, let your mentors know with at least 24 hours in advance. Last minute cancellations will count as forfeit sessions and your mentors will mark them as complete. Note if you are ever if you ever have any changes with your scheduling or co coordinating with your mentors, please reach out to us and we'll help resolve this situation. Tools and resources. We recommend completing these projects using industry standard tools like Sketch, Photoshop and Illustrator. If you're not familiar with these tools yet, here are some intros that you can go through the workflow. So that was what we went through previously. And obviously the, the perks there are what I said about the discounts that you can actually look at. Recommended resources. Here are some of the weekly newsletters and websites we recommend signing up for as resources in your design career moving forward. UX Design Weekly, Smashing Newsletter, Sidebar, uh, Dear Design Student. OK, so I'll have a look and come back to those and have a look at those. OK, mentoring tips. Questions for your mentors. Your mentors are a great resource and it's important to ask the right questions to get the most out of your time with them. Here's a short list of questions if you run out of things to talk about or if you're not sure about what kind of things you can ask or your mentors. Feel free to refer to these during the next sessions. OK, so I'll, I'll go back through and have a look at those. Additionally, be sure to use your first session to share your background, specifically course goals with your mentor. Maybe you'd like to get a portfolio piece out of this course and you're hoping to involve your process and your advance in your career. Whatever it might be, make sure to share your, with your mentor so that you can work to, to reach these goals together. Let's wrap up. Thanks for reading through this guide. Here's a quick summary of the key points. OK, as, ne as the next step, click the button to mentor session. OK, so that's that's going to wrap this up and I'll speak to you guys once I've had my mentor session and I'll go from there. Speak to you soon. Bye.